an echocardiogram is an ultrasound scan of your heart. Ultrasounds are used uh, quite widely nowadays and an echo is a specialized form of ultrasound for the heart. The procedure involves having a bit of cold jelly applied to the front of the chest and using sound waves a probe analyzes the reflection of sound waves off the structures within the chest and provides a live picture of how the heart is beating within the chest. The echo provides a way of assessing the structure and function of the heart in a dynamic live way. It provides information on the pump of the heart, the left ventricle. It is crucial for patients who may have heart failure to have this assessed. It also shows whether the valves of the heart are working well. There's four valves in the heart and these can be imaged with the ultrasound checking for leaks or narrowings in the valves. It can show the structures around the heart, the covering of the heart, the pericardium. And a simple test like an echocardiogram can provide a lot of information about the static function of the heart. An echo is used for the diagnosis of structural heart disease. And it can also be used to monitor the response to treatment. Patients with heart failure have a weak heart, and that can be seen on the ultrasound. With treatment, one would expect the function of the heart to improve, and that can also be detected. The standard echo is called a transthoracic echo, which is a simple test that can be performed with the patient lying on a couch. More complicated studies involve giving the patient drugs to speed up the heart, called a stress echocardiogram, looking to see whether the heart responds appropriately with the drugs that are given. A more specialized form is called a transesophageal echo, which involves the patient swallowing a probe. It provides the best pictures of the heart because you don't have the ribs and the lungs in the way, but obviously it's a bit more invasive. The transesophageal echo does carry some risk of discomfort and maybe bleeding from the back of the throat. It's usually performed under sedation, and it's not something that we would routinely perform unless we felt the transthoracic echo was unable to provide enough information.